clothes just aren't designed for guys under five foot nine. Most of the time we got to tuck in shirts that are too long for us or take every pant we buy to a tailor so it actually fits right. And then you got to wait for it to be done. It's a whole thing. Rarely does something fit perfect right off the rack. But what if I was to tell you that there's actually a handful of brands who make clothes specifically for short kings. And today, my friends, we're gonna talk about four of them. That's right, there's at least four of them. We'll be diving into detail about each brand's clothes, the options, the sizing, the quality, the prices, and my personal experience with wearing them. All right, so let's get bougie and talk about the most expensive option first. Peter Manning, founded in 2013 in Brooklyn, New York, Peter Manning is the premier fit-based fashion company serving not-so-tall men across the country and across the globe. Clothing. Peter Manning covers a spectrum from casual wear to business attire to workout clothes and outerwear. Looking through their site, the branding and the models, the items are catered to like millennials and above with the clean and buttoned up aesthetic. You can expect tailored suits, well-fitted shirts, and casual wear with sizes designed to cater to the unique proportions of shorter men. That will be the case with all the brands we check out today, which is pretty dope. As a short guy, that's pretty dope to hear. You're not gonna find like overly trendy pieces at Peter Manning. Most of the clothing is safe fashion wise, but stylish in more of a classic or timeless way. Again, I feel like it's very millennial looking style, but I'm a millennial, so I, I like a lot of it. And I pick and choose pieces and incorporate it with the rest of my wardrobe to maybe wear something more trendy. Sizing. So this is the fit guide on Peter Manning. It's a proprietary system based on height, weight, and body type, specifically for the not so tall guy. Their proprietary system is a like size guide. So you can be a size one through four and they actually have two X, four X, and four XL. For me, I actually fall into the not so tall and not so slim guys because I am 5'6", 150. So I actually went to their showroom, tried on some 2X t-shirts, and I liked how they fit. First up, we got the two. I don't know how to not look awkward in this. It's an overall tight fit for me, both on the arms and on the body. Now the 2X fits more like how I like my tees, more room in the arms and on the body. It's boxier, the length is good. It's probably my favorite overall size. But I also tried on the three just to see. It fit me perfect if my arms were a little bit smaller, no big deal. The body fits more slim than the 2X. Overall for me, I'd probably get the 2X for a standalone t-shirt but the three for an undershirt just because of the arm room difference this is what a peter manning shirt looks like this is what the other shirts look like and i don't know this this really hits home they have to find the size from everything from pants to jackets and shirts obviously now if we go to the pants sizes go all the way down to 28 waist 25 inseam length all the way up to 38 inch waist and 29 inch inseam length quality the brand prides itself on using premium fabrics and detailed tailoring to create clothing that upholds a standard of lasting quality i got a bunch of pieces from them and they're all high quality to me if that means anything i own a top coat, Carnegie coat, jacket, khakis, jeans, joggers, sweatpants, etc. I'm pretty much a Peter Manning stan. I'm Peter Stanning. But for me, their clothes are comfortable. They've maintained through washes and I wear them all the time. They're like daily staples. Their tees are 100% Pima cotton. Their jeans have 98% cotton and 2% elastane. So they got a little stretch to them, which I like. And all these percentages might mean nothing to you because I barely know what it means. So I'll stop talking about those and move on to the price. Price. It's not cheap. It's, a, it's expensive actually like a pair of sweatpants is 98 dollars they're super comfortable got a nice weight to them but 98 dollars for sweatpants and that's kind of the vibe with everything on their site it's a, just a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of prices i always feel like i'm splurging when i buy something from here they just came out with these premium italian denim selvage jeans that i really want but the price point is what's holding me back for now and that's kind of what's preventing me from my whole closet being peter manning as a short guy i've already spent so much here i i can't rationalize spending anymore or can i do i think the price is justified yeah do i regret buying anything from here no, and I have a lot. I, I told I got a ton of stuff, but it is tough to spend forty dollars on a plain white crew neck t-shirt. Uh, maybe I'm broke, but that sounds like a lot to me. My experience. Peter Manning has established themselves as the premier brand in the shorter men fashion category, if that's even a category. They have high quality items and you're going to pay a relatively premium cost for those items. They do offer discounts from time to time, but you can always get 15% off your first order by signing up to the email list. And I know that sounds like I'm sponsored by that. I'm not. Overall, I'm a big fan of this brand, as you could probably tell, because over the past couple 
couple years, it's given me a lot of staples in my current wardrobe. If you want to splurge a little bit on some timeless looking items, you'll wear for a while. I think it could be worth it. I think it could be worth it. I think I just convinced myself to buy some more stuff. Under 510, not even trying to hide it with the name. <laughs> Under 510 was founded in New York in 2015. They focus on creating garments with a custom style and fit without the ridiculous price tag or the wait time of a tailor. Clothing. Under 510 offers a wide array of options from casual to professional, business wear, even outerwear jackets and performance clothing. The brand is definitely more laid back and highlights looks with t-shirts and jeans rather than the buttoned up aesthetic that Peter Manning has. If I had two words to describe Under 510's aesthetic, it would be athletic millennial. Like lots of what they produce is slim fit and their leg wear is on the cusp of, of skinny. You'll find a lot of people recommend that short guys wear slimmer fit clothing and to stay away from baggy fit clothing to appear taller visually to, to, to elongate yeah under 510 definitely subscribes to that belief obviously more relaxed and even baggy leg wear is in right now in 2024 so if you're not into your pants low-key hugging them thighs then maybe skip the under 510 leg wear <clears throat> under 510 leg wear. My voice cracked and maybe that means I'm hitting puberty and I won't be making these videos anymore because I'll be six feet tall. Anyway, if you like the slimmer fit, even skinny fit look, there's nothing wrong with that by the way. Under 510 has a lot of options for you. The shirts, however, from my experience, have a little more breathing room than the pants, at least on the torso area. It's a little box here, but overall they're still on the slimmer end. Some of their new tees sort of give me a cut or built vibe, which I would say is definitely an improvement on their previous offerings and it makes total sense with the branding sizing so under 510 actually goes all the way down to 24 inch inseam that is the shortest out of any of these brands to my knowledge the waist looks like they go from 28 to 40 and for here for this pant in specific it's 25 inch inseam these pants as well 25 inch inseam is the lowest to 28 i still haven't found a pair of pants that goes down to 24 okay so i don't know where they're getting that from but it looks like everything's 25 at least which is the kind of the norm for the pants here so under 510 also has this what's my size see i don't think that's right i don't think i'm small i think i'm more of a medium so i mean take it take it with a grain of salt i guess because everything i own here that's medium is still kind of tight Ooh, got looking like tom cruise yeah see 510 the best jeans for short men are going to come in a slim fit that has a tapered leg from the knee down slim tapered jeans are the best jeans for short men because they make us look taller and leaner straight fit jeans on the other hand make shorter guys look shorter and wider again i you, you know you could tell that these brands just do not like baggy jeans and i get it i get it quality currently i have a couple t-shirts a flannel and the john performance pant and honestly the quality is pretty average so when i say that i mean it like comparatively to something like peter manning but i got all my items from under 510 i think over a year ago now and i can't even find some of these items on their site so this is just my opinion based on what i have it can change and you know when looking through their site they got so much new stuff like a myriad of tees that range from cotton pima cotton to 60 35 5 cotton polyester spandex blends they got all sorts of tees so definitely check out the descriptions on the clothes when you buy it but regardless i'm gonna go out on a limb and uh, assume that the quality isn't as high as peter manning even with the new stuff but that'll make sense once we review the pricing price the pricing is much more budget friendly than the other brands in this video. Shirts are 20 bucks. Jeans are 60-ish bucks. It's pretty affordable, especially considering these are items you don't have to spend another 15, 20 bucks on to get tailored. They also have a lot of deals throughout the year from what I've seen. So you can really build a little wardrobe off of these pieces for a good price. My experience. Overall, under 510 is an affordable option for the short man to get close. And I absolutely respect that lane they're taking. It has a specific aesthetic that I'll call athletic millennial. I feel like one of the TikTok girlies saying it, like a like an aesthetic. You know, honestly, I got so many friends who dress just like this, and I think it's a clean, put together look for someone in their late 20s, 30s, that most short guys couldn't achieve without lots of tailoring on their clothes. I have mixed feelings about the flannels and performance pants that I've personally tried on, but it's almost irrelevant because I'm getting the sense that they upgraded their whole catalog in a really positive way. And also, I'm not a quality 
snob by any means. I still wear some of the items that I've mentioned, even though they're not like incredible, timeless quality. So I'm the last guy to judge you for spending less money on more items that actually fit you. Ash and Erie. Ash and Erie is yet another brand specializing in clothing for the shorter man. Nice. And it was established in 2015 in Detroit, Michigan. You may have seen them on Shark Tank or even seen NBA legend Muggsy Bogues promoting them. What an awesome collaboration. Ash and Erie was actually the first shorter man clothing brand that I discovered. And they were actually the first brand deal I ever did before I even started my career in social media. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but this thing fits me like a glove. Pants also fit like a glove. Sure, it fits like a glove too, but I don't have any more gloves. So here's a stock image of Gary Payton. So I guess I got a little soft spot for him. Clothing. Ash and Erie's look reminds me of Old Navy or Gap. It is fun, has diverse options and looks clean put together. It seems this brand too is marketed at millennials. Ash and Erie has anything from Lulu, ABC pant dupes, corduroys, jackets, joggers, button down shirts, and of course, jeans. I don't know why I said it like that. They offer more outerwear options than under 5'10", but less options than Peter Manning. Most of Ash and Erie's pants are slim fit, but they offer straight fit as well. As you can tell by now, none of these brands are really messing with baggy fit, but stay tuned for the last brand because they're the closest things to it. Sizing. I feel like all these sites have this like comparison feature. So with Ash and Erie, you can get your shirt size and choose a slim or a standard fit. They have waists that go down to 28 inches and up to 38 inches and inseams from 25, 29. You can choose any combination of the two. This is their size chart for their sweaters in specific, just for an example. It's funny, you can see by the body length, typically these would say something like 28 inches or 27 inches, which is obviously the point of everything everything here. This is interesting because you can see they think this doesn't look good and that does look good. But it's funny how this is more of a stylish look in today's day and age. Quality. The quality is good in my opinion. Most of their pants are 98 or 99% cotton, 2 or 1% elastane. So they got a little stretch to them. They have Pima cotton tees and polos and nice fleeces. I would say the quality is pretty on par with Peter Manning and that's likely why the price point is too. Price. Looking through their site, I see a lot of stuff that I wanna try. But I'm a little taken back by the price point because I'm realizing it's very similar to Peter Manning. I don't remember their pricing being this high four years ago, but yeah, inflation's hitting everything these days. So I would say the quality is pretty on par with Peter Manning. I'm gonna keep an eye out for discounts and I'm gonna cop some more stuff from here for sure. Cause I'm very impressed with the options on the site right now. My experience. So I bought a couple pairs of jeans like four or so years ago and they were so skinny. Even when I was wearing really slim jeans, these things were plastered to my legs in all the wrong ways. That's how my pants looked. That's how they looked on me. I think those are the exact pants actually. I also had a button up like shirt for the office that was very lightweight and it shrunk a lot in the dryer which admittedly was was my fault i shouldn't have put it in the dryer probably i liked how it looked but it just never felt really high quality it was really thin at that point in time i was just happy i found clothes that were made for guys under five foot eight but after the experience with the jeans and the shirt i just kind of filed ash and Erie under like meh in my brain until I recently bought a couple items from them. And to my delight, I love everything I got. These corduroy pants fit more like straight fit. As you can tell, they're not like plastered to my legs and they're very comfortable. They're light and have a little stretch to them. I haven't delved too deep into baggier pants, but I do really like straight fit. Feels more me. Honestly, my opinion of Ash and Erie has 180 from the last four years. And I'm somewhat to very likely going to purchase more stuff from there very soon. Good stuff. And now for the final brand, Abbreviated Apparel. Abbreviated was founded in San Francisco, California in 2023 by a guy named Mike who worked for some of the biggest clothing brands in the world and noticed how they tailored their medium sizes to a six foot tall fit model. So annoying. As a five foot eight dude himself, he started a clothing company to solve this problem. Clothing. Abbreviated doesn't have nearly as many options as the other brands we discussed due to it being brand new, but their clothes are more modern looking than the other short man brand counterparts, trading the slimmer fit look for more boxier silhouettes. You'll find chinos, jeans, flannels, crew neck sweatshirts, and t-shirts from here. Just a couple color options of each, which helps a bit with paralysis of choice, if I'm being honest. They keep their 
their colors neutral for the most part and it seems more streetwear focused rather than the buttoned up look of Peter Manning. But again, they're new, so I don't have a complete idea of their brand identity yet. I really like their pants. Yeah, their jeans have a nice wash to them with a slim fit that isn't as slim as these other brands. And their chino pants are called slim, but they actually have a nice standard straight leg fit to them in my opinion. They look a bit more modern this way and that probably has to do with the founder having a good pulse on the industry. I know that he does because he's a great follow on TikTok and he shares a lot of great tips about just fashion in general, but always targets a lot of what he talks about to shorter guys. And yeah, this isn't an app. This is, I'm just a fan. Sizing. So we're looking at abbreviated jeans. The pants feature shorter inseams and proportionally adjusted rises and knee placements for a flattering appearance. Inseams go down to 25 and up to 28. When you get pants hemmed, the rest of the pant isn't always proportioned. Like the crotch on the pants could be like way too low. It just looks odd. So that's where these short man brands differ rather than just like taking it to a tailor and getting the leg short. These are made for someone who's just not as tall, not made for someone who's six feet tall and then shortened. So now let's look at the sizing on this relaxed fit crew neck sweatshirt. They scaled down details and shortened hems and sleeves with the regular brand. I'm a perennial schmady. I got a medium sized build, but a small sized length torso. But a medium at abbreviated and these other brands solves the length problem. You can look at the chest size and the body length size. Quality. Sweatshirts are mid-weight, 100% cotton French terry. Tees are 100% cotton and 180 GSM with suede fabric. Jeans are 98% cotton, 2% spandex midweight. Chinos are 97% cotton, 3% elastane, etc, etc. I don't know if you guys care about the percentages. I just, I'm just saying. I'm so far, everything I own from this brand feels really high quality. Everything's like kind of mid to heavy weight, which just kind of gives it that high quality feeling. I love the crew neck and chinos. I just copped and I'll probably get the cargos and a flannel in the near future. I'm definitely going to keep these peepers peeled for new drops because I feel like this brand has a lot of potential. It's the smallest brand, but I feel like it has the most potential. However, I'm not obsessed with their current t-shirts. They're a little uncomfortable, but I don't want to harp on the t-shirt. Everything else is amazing. But again, th that's just me. Someone else might really like those. Price. Affordable. Yeah. This is like a medium price point option between under 510 and the other two options of Peter Manning and Ash and For the quality, the clothes from Abbreviated feel like a steal. In the About Us section, they write about how they want to give shorter guys reasonably priced clothing. And I feel like they've accomplished that because most of the items here are 50% cheaper than Ash and or Peter Manning. But the quality isn't compromised. I think the quality is just as good. My experience. I'm a fan of this brand and the founder and his TikTok. He's super transparent and, and kind of talks about his journey as a business owner. So I feel like if you're a shorter guy and you ever had like a specific type of clothing that you really wanted to wear, this brand has the most likelihood to listen and actually create it. They literally started last year and have already disrupted the small but growing short man clothing industry. Pun intended. Because unlike the other three brands that we discussed, Abbreviated has an aesthetic that more closely resembles what's popular in the current culture. Features like drop shoulders, heavier weighted fabrics, relaxed fits, and pants that aren't hugging your legs. A piece from here could be the best bang for your buck of all these four options. So that's it, folks. All love to these four brands. This is just my opinion at this specific point in time from my very specific experience with their clothes. So let me know your thoughts if you own any pieces from these brands. And let me know if you have any questions about any of the clothes that I have. And most importantly, subscribe for more style content for short guys because we're just getting started with these long form bids. Push.